morning boys and girls. Today we're going to learn more about why my smelly aunt Sally is going to help us with math. And if you recall, the phrase was, guys, excuse my dear aunt Sally. And so let's see how that translates into helping us with math. Okay, so guys, Excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And I say it like that for a reason. Each one of the letters, just like King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk, we're going to use the words of, guys, excuse my dear Aunt Sally, to think about the steps of order of operations. So this is one of those math conventions. It's rules that we all agree upon for solving equations. So if we think about the different parts of an equation that an equation can have, um, we look at first guys. The G stands for groupings. And if you recall, groupings are parentheses, brackets, and braces. Those are what the groupings are that we're going to be talking about in some of our equations. Next, the E for excuse stands for exponents. And again, in fifth grade, the only exponent we use are powers of 10. And so it would be 10 to the second power, 10 to the third power, etc. Um, M and D. These go together because sometimes it can be D and M. And if you think about an equation and what that M and D might stand for, you're right, it's multiplication or division. And the reason we say or is because whatever comes first in the equation, if multiplication comes first, we do that first. If division comes first, we do that first. We always do the group, groupings first, then we do the exponents if they have them, then multiplication or division left to right as you're solving the equation. And then the same with Aunt Sally stands for addition or subtraction. And again, whichever comes first in the equation, moving left to right, we do that first. But Addition and subtraction always come after multiplication or and addition. I'm sorry, multiplication and division, unless the addition and subtraction are in parentheses, brackets, or braces. So if we look at this again, G stands for grouping, E stands for exponents, M and D stands for multiplication or division, A and S stand for addition and or subtraction. So these are the most important things down here that we can remember. For guys, parentheses, brackets, and braces, those are our groupings. For E, we do exponents next. Then we do multiplication or division, again, left to right in the equation then addition or subtraction left to right. What does all that mean? Well, let's look at an equation. Here we have three plus parentheses, 25 minus 15, an exponent of two times six minus eight. So there's lots of different ways we can attack this example, but because we have the convention of our order of operations using the phrase, guys, excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we know exactly what to do. So let's take a look at how that, what that looks like when we're solving an equation. First, we look at G for groupings. Do we have parentheses, brackets, or braces? And the answer is yes, we do. So we have to do this in parentheses first, and that would be 25 minus 15. And 25 minus 15 is 10. So we keep that, we do that, what's in parentheses, and then we rewrite 
the entire equation, taking this part out of it, okay? So now we've solved what's in parentheses. There are no other groupings, so we can move on to E. Is there an exponent in this equation? Yes, there is. It's 10 to the second power. And we know that 10 to the second power is 100. So now we've done this, and we rewrite the equation exactly how it was written. Now we say to ourselves, what comes next? And it's multiplication or division. We don't have any division, but we do have multiplication. So we can't add the 3 yet because we haven't done the multiplication yet. And 100 times 6 equals 600. So we can cross that part out and write the rest of the equation exactly how it's written. Now, we have addition or subtraction. We have both in this equation. But again, it's addition or subtraction, whatever comes first, left to right. So in this case, the addition comes first, and 3 plus 600 is 603, and then minus 8. So now there's only one thing left to do, and that is 603 minus 8. And if you do that math, you come up with 595. So 595 is the answer to this equation if you follow the order of operations. So we're just going to take a look one more time at this and we're going to discuss it more in our Zoom class. So on Tuesday, so um, just take a look so you can try to remember some of these. Guys, excuse my dear Aunt Sally, you know how smelly she is. And that stands for, the G stands for groupings. Groupings are parentheses, brackets, or braces. E stands for exponents. M and D, multiplication or division, whatever comes first, left to right. A and S for Aunt Sally, addition or subtraction, left to right. So we're going to practice some of this. And if you still have that piece of paper that has, guys, excuse my dear Aunt Sally, you can start trying to remember what each of those things stand for before we have our Zoom class on Tuesday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.